there are some people that read a ton of MRIs and some people that read some MRIs. Yeah. Are, do you recommend second readings of an MRI if there's a problem with the reading or you're just feeling nervous about it? Do you recommend somebody else who, who sees a lot of MRIs read your scan? Uh, routinely. And let me elaborate on that, but let's make a distinction between second opinion for a PSMA PET scan. This is going to come up. Yeah. And second opinion for a, reading a multiparametric MRI of the prostate. So uh, Dr. Hope was optimistic that reading these PSMA PET scans is going to be more straightforward and that the community radiologists will pick it up quickly. And I think that will be the case. I think that the, that the um, technology is so beautiful and so distinct that well-trained radiologists are going to figure it out quickly and getting overreads may not be as uh, much of an issue as it is definitely an issue for MRI. MRI of the prostate, uh, mm -hmm. and one expert told me that these doctors who read these MRIs of the prostate need a thousand practice reads before they're competent to read these things. So my policy, if I see an MRI done at some unknown facility that I'm not familiar with, always I send it to UCLA or UCSF and get a second opinion. And it's amazing how often the readout changes substantially. Reading these MRIs is tricky. And so uh, I don't even give it a second thought. If I'm reading an MRI from some unknown facility, I never consider taking it at face value. Never. Now wow. that, may change, that may change in five years as these places are getting up to speed and they're gonna get better. But if we uh, have a patient in a, another city getting an MRI on an annual basis per chance, we get a couple of consistent overreads from UCLA that say, yep, this is, he's got it, this is right, this is right, then we'll start to trust that facility. They know what they're doing, but I never take it at face value. Do you know how many people have read a thousand MRIs of the prostate? Not very many. On one hand. <laughs> <laughs> I can count it. We call it on one Michigan hand. Uh -huh. I, uh, I mean, that's interesting. I, I think he gave a PC answer, which I understand, which is we're going to get there. But you know as well as I do that second opinions on biopsies is no big deal. And I think we're always going to be faced with the question, do you second opinion in any imaging scan? I mean, there's well, always going to be, nice there's always going to be the NFL and there's always going to be college. Well, the nice thing is I agree with Dr. Hope's uh, conclusion that Basically, all the other scans, except for MRI, we're going to keep MRI for prostates, but bone scans, CAT scans, MRIs of the body, all this sort of stuff, uh, people won't even think of them in a few more years. That's just so unbelievable to me. I love, that's why I loved reading him his quotations. I mean, they were beautiful. He was beautiful. It was beautiful. I want to cry when I think about it.